Welcome to my Thermomix kitchen. Lex wants to have some braided milk bread today, so we're gonna make some and make a quick little video showing how it's done. I'm gonna get started here. I'm gonna slide over into the cookie dough. Cook I do. Um, I've added the recipe via the app to my planner, so here's uh, on the cook today is the braided milk bread um, and I'm just going to start cooking so as I slightly grease a large bowl and set aside I have that ready to go so then we click on next over here and now it says 11 ounces of milk so right now it says zero here so you can take this don't pour it all in because it may be a little bit more but you want to take a look here at the, this number until it says 11 push down on the machine Now we go really slowly a little bit more. There's the So now you can click on the on the next just so that we can make it go a little faster. So now we're gonna put these pieces of butter in here. Take the whole that whole chunk, put it in. And the last piece. And we're right at two ounces. And you can click on the next again. Alright, so two teaspoons of dried. So you can take two spoonsful of that. Hit the green next button again. Now it's a, uh, one ounce of sugar. So take a one spoonful of sugar. Next, insert the measuring cup into the mixing bowl lid and then place the lid on the machine. So now you can turn this knob until it says you can turn the knob until it says two right here. Everything else is set up. One more. Everything else is set up already. We're on three minutes at 100 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit. It will melt the butter and warm up the, the milk and activate the yeast and the sugar feeds the yeast and we'll come back in three minutes to uh, see what it looks like and then we'll add the flour and the salt and knead it and then that's the end of the Thermomix part of the braided milk bread. Alrighty, so here we are, got six seconds to go. We have reached temperature. That's our sound. Here. So you can still see there's a couple pieces of butter still floating around. A little bit of the yeast didn't get uh, quite the soft, but that's okay. The kneading will take care of all of that. Alright, next step. Next step. You can add all of that flour in here, Lex, please. Yeah, dump it all in. We want 20 ounces. This is a um, red flour from a heritage mill in Minnesota. But when I have legs help, so it's called um, Sunrise Mill, and it's a heritage bread uh, flour. So it's a little bit, it's, it's not quite white. Uh, you know, it's not bleached white uh, flour, it's a little bit. Now you can hit the next button, oh, we gotta add our salt. It says one and a half teaspoons of salt. So one. Add some salt sooner on the top of the mat. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. Okay. And you can hit the next button again. Okay. Insert measuring cup into mixing bowl. Then place the lid on the machine. Knock it next. Uh, and then just turn the turn the knob. Says turn speed selector to start, and it's set to three minutes of kneading. So we are gonna let that knead for three minutes. So here we are. It's done. Click on next and say place. Dough in prepared bowl. So here's my buttered bowl. 
and the way you get out of the dough is you turn it over and then you just twist the knife a little bit and the dough falls out more or less. This one's caught up a little bit. And this is how the bowl looks afterwards. So the dough should be slightly sticky but not, not too sticky and so this is really good. This dough feels really good. And then next Cover with cling wrap or damp kitchen towel and let it rise in a warm place until doubled in size. That's that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna cover this and set it aside and then and then I will I will come show you what the final product looks like. And before I go, I want to clean out my bowl. I'm gonna take a drop of dishwashing liquid. A pre cleaning mode uh, that gets the, the bowl pre cleaned, and then it's just really easy to take a, a dishcloth or similar and wipe as that's the rinse it, wipe it out, and you're ready to go for the next recipe. You don't need to put it in the dishwasher, just at the end of the day, I, I put it in. So I start each day with a uh, dishwasher clean. So I fill this up with water. So here's pre-clean, and then I'm gonna turn this to the dough position. Put this in here. It takes about eight minutes. I will come back in eight minutes and show you what it looks like. Here we are, finished with our pre-cleaning mode. The lid looks quite clean. The bowl looks quite clean. I'm gonna rinse it out real quick. Okay, so here's the bowl. I rinsed it out and it's clean, ready to go for my next project. So the dough has risen, has uh, double, uh, doubled in size, and I'm gonna turn it out here in a second. I wanted to show you here on the Thermomix, it asks, do you want to resume your last recipe? And I click yes, then it says, you know, line your baking sheet with parchment paper and set aside. Uh, it tells you how to braid, gives you a little video right here on how to braid the bread. So I'm gonna go out of this and then you know how to place it together and then cover it with a, with a, a moist tea towel again and then um, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and braid my bread and then I'll show you what it looks like with, when I set it for the second rice. Here's the bread braided and brushed with egg ready to go into the oven. Alright so here's the finished loaf had to cut some off already and to send it off with the kiddo. He's out on a hike. Should be delicious.